Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into gaining more clarity, more mental clarity, more confidence, and more belief in yourself, being able to um, heal your third eye chakra, and being able to really trust your intuition, and feel very safe and strong in your faith those kind of things. So we have three piles here today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. I find it ironic that I just told you to get in touch with your intuition so you can pick the pile you feel most drawn to and we're working on opening our intuition better. Anyway, if you guys enjoy this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps this channel to grow and it helps to spread these messages to others who could use them as well. It's a great way to give back energetically for the healing session I'm giving you today. Another great way to do that would be to donate to this channel and I really appreciate anybody who does either one of those things. All of those things really help me. And um, you can find my PayPal, Cash App, and Amazon wish list all in the description box below along with my other channel, D Storytime, where you can find my poetry and I would really appreciate if you went and checked that out and subscribed to that channel that would be great I have about 1700 subscribers on this channel if I had two-thirds of you guys go subscribe to that channel I would have enough on that channel to start being able to monetize that channel as well so that would help me out a lot too and um I really appreciate appreciate anybody who does any of that. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here to support me and my goals and my dreams while I am here to help you learn to have confidence in yourself and your goals and dreams. So let's get started with pile one. For pile one, and I went ahead and picked a couple of spiritual gifts to focus on for you guys as well to start feeling more confident about, to start believing in more. I felt like that was a good thing to go along with this reading. So let's go ahead and check those out first. I was actually going to save them for last, but we're going to check them out first. Your faith is unmatched because you have a very strong connection. Go on a spiritual quest if your faith has been wavered or if your faith has been wavering. So you have a very strong faith. You may get made fun of for it at times. You may um, have people that are just constantly trying to push you not to believe in what you believe in. You're very strong and you have a lot of courage and confidence when it comes to your faith. You really trust and you really believe in a higher power of some kind and you really do see the improvements in your life made by the fact that you have this very strong faith. And if you are feeling like that faith is being tried and tested a lot lately and you are unsure of whether or not things are as you believe them to be and whether or not this peace is something that you should be feeling, then take some time in nature. Take some time to be by yourself with the trees, the plants, the ground. Um, even just in your garden will help a lot. But really a spirit quest is something that may help a lot of you as well. A lot of people use um, different herbal remedies to be able to go on these spiritual quests as well, such as peyote, and I can't think of the name of the uh, ayahuasca. I've wanted to try that for a very long time. Um, there's actually a lot of people who take spiritual quests with ayahuasca, but you can do a spiritual quest just with meditation in nature. Really, you honestly don't need drugs to or I don't consider natural things drugs. So you don't need the plants to be able to do this. But um, the ingredients from ayahuasca, from what I understand, are actually legal in most places. They are in this place. Um, so you could actually make that yourself as well if you know what you're doing, if you actually research it, things like that. Don't just go and make it and think it's going to be great. you got to research it and how you're supposed to use it, how much you're supposed to take, what you're supposed to be doing, that kind of thing. <clears throat> your electric your electrical abilities are very skilled tech whiz so um <laughs> this could be you could be somebody who really has a very big impact on electronic things in a good way or a bad way if you want my honesty um when you're feeling very anxious or upset or worried about something a lot of electronic things could break around you i I have only found one watch I've ever been able to wear for any length of time. Bum equipment watches will actually last on me for six months to a year. And that's the only watch I've ever found that I've been able to wear for any length of time because I shock them all out of order. Um, but, uh, and my mom does the same thing as well. 
and I can't even find a bum watch again. But you guys have a very strong connection to electricity. So when you get very anxious or upset, it can cause a lot of malfunctioning in the electric items around you. So it's really a good thing to keep yourself in a more calm, peaceful state to learn more about anxiety and how to um, ground yourself in those moments. Take a few deep breaths. Remember that everything that is meant to happen will happen. Know that it's okay and that everything's going to be just fine. Know that um, you are protected and when it's your time, it's your time, period. That's just the way it is. And no amount of worry or frustration or anxiety or fear is going to change the outcome of a situation, period. That's just, you know, I've dealt with a lot of anxiety, depression, things like that, bipolarness throughout my life, um, my whole family has a lot of those issues. Most of them treat them with medication. I choose not to. I actually got, there was one day that I was in the hospital and I was hooked up to the heart rate monitor and I've gotten really good at being able to calm myself and calm my heartbeat and calm my nerves and my energy. And I was like, I wonder how low I can actually get my heartbeat. It got down to four beats a minute before it started beeping. And I was like, oh shit, I should probably start. I should probably bring my heart rate back up before they freak out trying to figure out what's wrong with me swan, the elk, and the vulture. So there's a need for you to stop carrying everyone else's problems as a weight on your own shoulders. You can still help people. You can still be there for them. You can still do for them, but you really need to stop taking it home with you. You need to, um, when you talk to somebody, I've talked to people about some fucking crazy ass, horrible, awful shit, things that are 10 times worse than anything I've ever been through. And anybody who's watched this channel for a while knows I've been through a lot anyway, but you know what? Try growing up in Haiti because that would be awful. Anyway, you have a tendency to take these problems and make them your own. Everybody has to choose to um, come out of the issues or the pain or the hurt or the trauma they've been in. And it's not your choice. So you are going to meet a lot of people who are not going to put in the time, effort, and work to be able to heal the way that you have. And that is not on you. You are only here to guide, to open a door, to lead, but not to, you can't stay fixated and focused on that and you can't have that pulling on your energy because otherwise it keeps you from being able to help others as well. Cleansing your energy, protecting your energy is going to be very beneficial, very um, good for you. Pray for those people and then move forward. Do not allow those people to drag you down with them. There's a need to really look in the mirror and to understand yourself better, to see how much strength you have, how much wisdom you have, how much grace you have. You are a very um, beautiful person who has a lot of integrity, who is very upstanding. You are very upstanding. You're very strong. You're very powerful. And I don't think that you see just how powerful you are. You are somebody who is here to transmute energy, not to absorb it like a sponge, but to transmute it. But for most of our lives, we end up absorbing it because we have no idea how to deal with this. There's not many people out there who actually are there to teach us. There's finally starting to be some people out there who know what this is, who aren't afraid to express it anymore at fear of burning at the stake or some crap. And it's now time for you to start exploring your gifts, understanding your gifts and understanding why they are acting the way that they are, understanding what you can do to better um, keep yourself in alignment and keep yourself on purpose and on point rather than being distracted by all the different things that are there to pull on you and tug on your heartstrings. As an empath, because you are an empath, as an empath, you really need to um, understand that yes, you can feel things very deeply and you can see everything from everyone else's perspective and you can understand it and you can really, and you really hurt for them and things like that. You need to start learning what it is to distance yourself, disengage yourself. I can't think of the actual word I'm looking for, but I think you know what I mean. You need to really put space between yourself on that front. It is okay to feel that strongly about it. And at the same time, don't allow it to change what you have going on in your life. <clears throat> 
Elemental of Fire, the Two of Air, Initiation, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Wow. Those three cards came out in pile two in my last reading, my karma reading. So just if anybody um, watched that pile, let me know in the comments below. Um, you guys are really learning spiritually. You're on this path because this is something that you desire to do. Um, you desire to learn about your gifts. You desire to learn about your spirituality. You desire to possibly even turn it into a business of some sort to go after some sort of opportunity. You really would like to go after an opportunity. And you really, um, there's a lot of indecision on this. And a lot of this indecision is based on whether or not other people will be behind you. Whether or not um, you're doing the right thing. There's really a need to center yourself, to find your balance, to know that what you want is what is right for you. X marks the spot when it comes to that. <clears throat> it's time to step up into your power to say this is what I want and to do it. Instead of worrying about what anybody else wants or how anybody else feels about it, you really need to, like I said, disengage yourself and distance yourself from the emotions of others because not only do we pick up on their pain, their hurt, their uneasiness or unhappiness, we pick up on their desire to see us turn away from things, their fear for us, their dislike of what we're doing their judgment of what we're doing and so there's a need to distance yourself from the judgment the censure the um the dreams that other people have for your life as well some of you could actually get a lot of messages in your dreams you may even be dreaming about a specific person as well you may be wanting to rush forward and express your love in some sort of situation. And I feel like that is a very good idea for you to do. You need to follow your heart. You need to follow your passions. You need to follow your desires. Because what you want, you want for a reason. You may even want to rush in and offer commitment and stability and loyalty to someone. Rush in and offer that. And remember to express your emotions and your feelings. But also remember to do it in a mature way. I feel like some of you may be um, stuck in this dreamy, wishy-washy energy where you are in love with a new thing every single day of the week. Or where you <clears throat> like to play games with the emotions instead of just expressing your emotions. It's time to get rid of the fear or the anxiety. It's time to stop feeling like you will be seen as weak if you express your emotions. And there is also an initiation that will be happening where you will be um, growing even more so as you come into union with someone. This could even be someone from a past life. This could be someone that you've spent many lifetimes with and you haven't came into union yet, but you're meant to come into union this lifetime. You guys also may have a difference of opinion when it comes to religion than most other people do. You may believe that the earth could end all its inhabitants and the entire universe could not have ever been created by only a man because no life on this planet has ever been created by only a man. So you may very widely believe in a man-woman, god and goddess combination. Praying is really going to be very effective for you. Being able to be okay with your masculine and your energy and, and your feminine energy is going to be good for you as well. I feel like a lot of you are very strongly in your masculine energy. This strong, stubborn, unyielding, solid, go-getter, arrogant, asshole <laughs> energy. <laughs> Sorry, but some of you are really in that energy very strongly. Because you're denying your feminine aspect. You hate something about the feminine energy. And so you are denying it. And I feel like most of you hate the weakness that you feel like the weakness that you feel like emotions cause emotions are not a weakness crying is not a weakness crying is the fucking biggest strength you could ever come up with especially these days considering how many people feel like it's a weakness crying is one of the most strong things that you could ever do and I feel like crying for a lot of you guys is going to allow you to ease the pain that may be gnawing at you as well even if you just do it alone 
get it out of you and allow yourself to release the past so that you can move forward with an open heart, so that you can express your emotions, so you can express your love, so that you feel safe in doing so. So that is pretty much what I got for you guys. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated with you, what you might be going through. And um, if you guys are interested in the heart chakra reading, you guys might actually benefit very greatly from the heart chakra reading as well, because that's going to help you get over the um, guilt, shame, anything that you might be feeling in association with expressing your emotions. So let's get on to pile two. <clears throat> For pile two, I did pull some spiritual gifts here as well for things that you should focus on or things that you should have more faith, trust, and belief in that will help you in listening to your intuition because you may be denying aspects of yourself. So let's see what we got for those. We have your perceptions and ability to line things up with very little info is amazing. Criminal minds. So you are somebody that may be claircognizant. You are somebody that really is quite capable of figuring out what's going on around you, who's doing what, who's doing what and why. You are really good at getting inside the minds of other humans. Greater faith and trust in the divine. Pile one actually had a similar card. You have a very strong faith and a very strong trust in the divine, in a higher power, and you believe this with all your heart and you lean into this a lot. And if you have been finding that your faith has been wavering, then you might need to take some time in nature, take some time alone by yourself, away from the world outside. Um, pray. And ask for something that you truly need and then wait, surrender it, let go of it, and it'll come to you and that'll restore that faith. That will help as well. Pile one, I went really into deep detail on if you're wavering on your faith. So you can go check that out if you feel like that's something you need to look into as well. Able to connect to animals. So you are very strongly able to connect to animals. Not only do you have this greater perception with humans, you have this greater perception with the world around you. You are very good at understanding everything going on around you, what the cause is, what the effect is, what's going to happen in a certain scenario. Um, you're really good at deductive reasoning. You are really good at understanding things. You're really good at seeing things that others miss. And I feel like some people may have told you that you were crazy, that what you were seeing wasn't real that you didn't know what you were talking about because they didn't want to admit who they actually were. And so you may question these things at times, but it's time to really start believing that these things are real and your gifts are real. Gazelle, spider, elephant. You are very wise. You are very strong. You're very knowing. You're very passionate. You are somebody who really likes to do things by the book as well. You like to make sure that things are done right or how you see things to be right. You are very, um, you have a lot of integrity. You have a lot of morals. You have a lot of values and you stand by those. You are somebody who is very calm, compassionate, and understanding. You are somebody who really, um, you stand up for what you believe in and you stand up for what's right and you also do it with grace and dignity. You are not somebody who's going to run into a room guns blazing. You are somebody who's going to walk into a room with your head held high and a confident attitude and you're going to say your piece and people are going to stop and they're going to listen to you because you are somebody who holds a lot of power and you hold a lot of weight. You are somebody who works very hard and you've been working very hard and a very long time, very intricate details towards building something. And I feel like that something is really going to pay off, but you may be questioning that. Your intuition is telling you that it is going to pay off. Listen to your intuition. <clears throat> Crone of water, mother of air, mother of fire, seven of pentacles, nine of wands, and judgment. So basically, this is like the Empress of Swords, and then the Queen of Swords, and then the Queen of Wands. A lot of you could definitely be a parent, a very wise parent, a very communicative parent, somebody who has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, or you could have one of those yourself as well. And um, you may want to go and ask this person some questions, really discuss things with them, but stay in your own mind. Make sure that you're making your own decisions. You really 
need to cut off things that are not good for you, things that are um, bringing you down, things that are weighing you down, and you really need to start to go after things that bring you passion, that bring you fire, that bring you inspiration. It's time to really decide what you truly want and what truly matters to you the most because you are the only person who knows that and it is time to take action to communicate that to the world around you and then to go after it. Some of you could even be working on writing a book or um, working on writing in some way that is going to benefit your life in the long run that's going to bring a lot of stability in, that's going to bring a lot of um, financial stability, abundance in. Some of you could be really working on something that is really going to pay off big time for you in the future and you're starting to see the tiny little fruits of your effort but not all of them are ripe yet. All the seeds that you have planted are going to I just saw this like field. There's This is an apple tree in this one. I just saw this field of apple trees. It's like not only did you get this one apple tree here, you got a hundred other apple trees because you planted so many damn seeds and you don't even realize it. You don't even see it. Your wisdom, your knowledge, your intelligence is off the charts. You have so much to offer to this world. You have had so much faith, so much trust, so much persistence and determination to achieve the goals that you have set out to achieve and you have had so many things thrown your way, daggers thrown your way, knives in your back, just all kinds of things meant to drag you down and pull you down and pull you away from your path and your purpose and you have never strayed from that path and purpose because you have had so much faith in it so much trust in it so much commitment to it your commitment has been tested time and time and time again and judgment day is here and you have never wavered in your commitment you have never wavered in your faith and you are about ready to rise up you are somebody who rises above you are somebody who's forgiving you are somebody who allows the doors to close in the past and you allow the doors to open in the future and if you haven't been doing that lately if you have been clinging to something that is not good for you out of fear or anxiety it is time to pray it is time to leave your worries and doubts to the angels to the divine and to know that everything that is happening is happening for a reason and that you are just fine closing these doors that want to be closed so that you can open the doors for new things to come in I feel like your your intuition is very on point you guys may not even know how on point your intuition is but it is very on point there are some minor things that you could do to heal yourself and feel good in what you're knowing and trusting in that because I feel like at times you still question it. You still question it because of all the things that you've had to bend through, all the things you're still going through. You might have a bit of a victimhood consciousness when it comes to feeling like the whole world is out to get you or has attacked you and there's nothing you can really do about it and all this kind of stuff. All of these things happened for a reason. They happen so that you could be more reliant on your gifts, so that you could trust in them more, so that you could trust in the divine more, so you could have this greater faith and this greater knowledge in the beings that are on the other side. And so that you could learn how to go after your desires, so you could learn how to go after your needs, so you could learn how to not be judgmental of yourself or others for going after what they want and what they need and what they feel like is their path or their purpose in life, so that you could be just as supportive for others as you wish people would have been for you. You are meant to be a leader, a teacher, a guide, and you are really very sturdy, stable, and strong in your beliefs, and you are going to go far. So that is pretty much what I got for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it in the comments below. <clears throat> whether or not it resonated with you. What you might be going through. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day. Whatever it is. Wherever you are. When you're watching. Bye bye guys. Pile 3. I'm going to get a drink really quick. My throat's feeling a little extra scratchy right now. So for pile three, I did pull <clears throat> some spiritual gift cards for the for this reading as well because I figured that there might be some gifts that you are not believing in or gifts that need to be really focused on right now that might help you in your intuition as well once you start noticing them and appreciating them, that kind of thing. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> you are able to be alone without feeling lonely. You are at peace most when you are alone. Your gifts increase around others as much as alone. So, your gifts increase around others as much as they do around yourself. I really hope my storage doesn't run out because it just gave me a message of warning about it. 
then I'll have to do it in two parts. You are able to be alone without feeling lonely and you are able to be in a crowd of people without being overwhelmed. You are somebody who um, is not easily drained of your energy. You are somebody who's very good at protecting your energy. You're somebody who's very good at not absorbing all the energies around you but transmuting them. You really shift the energy of a space when you walk into it and I feel like you can feel this shift. If you pay attention to it, you can feel this shift. You know this shift. You are very lyrical you can write very well and you are guided to practice as much as possible Pat too had some things about writing in it too um you are very gifted with your writing your writing brings awareness it brings truth to light you may even be um claire i can't remember the word for writing and claire abilities in writing right at this moment but claire audience is one of them that popped into my mind Clear aliens popped in my mind as well. So some of you could have a very strong sense of smell and you can really figure out a lot of things through your smell. Cheetah, black egg, whale. Speaking your truth is going to be the biggest thing that is going to open up your third eye more because your intuition is trying to nudge you into action, nudge you into expressing yourself, nudge you into um, really revealing a lot of things that have been hidden. I feel like a lot of you might want proof before you reveal some of the things you have within you, but all the proof you need is within yourself. You just have to look deep to find it. You really need to get in touch with your intuition, your emotions. You really, really need to get in touch with your emotions, your more sensitive, vulnerable side. You are as deep as a fucking ocean and you may be using yourself as a puddle. You may only be showing a puddle to the world, but you have an ocean within you. And it is time to start showing that ocean to the world. It's time to really be motivated, driven, and goal-oriented when it comes to expressing yourself and writing down what you need to write down and getting out what you need to get out. Ace of... I almost thought that was the Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, in bulk death, three of pentacles, and ten of pentacles. So you guys really need to express the truth about what you're uh, working on. I feel like you guys have been working on something for a very long time and you've been keeping it in the dark because you're afraid of what anybody's going to think or say or know about it. And here's the damn deal. Or about the energy that they're going to send your way and you are very good at reflecting that energy. You're very good at getting rid of it. You are very good at not absorbing other people's crap so you can express it. And the only way to be seen in this world is to expose yourself. If you hide in a fucking corner inside of a box with the lid closed, nobody is ever going to see anything that you're working on and you are never going to be able to turn it into anything. So you really need to start showing off your work in a humble way. You are a humble person. I feel like that might be part of the reason why you guys don't show off your work is because you're a humble person. But it's time to start showing off your work. It is time to start believing in yourself and the faith, persistence, commitment, and dedication you have had to your path and your purpose. Um, a lot of you may be drawn to pile two because the seven of pentacles came out in that pile as well. You guys are working very steadily and very hard towards a legacy. You guys are making something that is going to stand.